all right what is going on everybody welcome to my channel welcome to the nightmare corner so today is an amazing day happy 426 happy alien day so very excited what more better way to celebrate than go through and review the rhino alien that just came out from NECA so very cool nice tribute over to the Kenner toys with the box art beautiful stuff and it does come with a dark horse comic book so that's pretty cool so why alien day on april 26 you may ask well april 26th was given alien day because it is pretty much a very cool and awesome nod to the original aliens movie from 1979 um <clears throat> it was really cool because our poor travelers who go to the moon to explore the moon was called lv 426 so of course we all know that is the moon that our poor astronauts and travelers on that moon where they discovered these xenomorphs so very cool that uh you know april 26 is given that cool nod and uh we get to celebrate alien day so what better way to celebrate alien day than to look at the aliens from the rhino alien over from NECA. So very cool. So first I want to give a shout out to Kane's Crypt. It's a cool, awesome shop to where I always get most of my collectibles um, for the past couple weeks, actually. So big shout out to them. I'm going to leave a link to their Facebook page in the description so you guys can check them out. Uh, they do have a Facebook page so you guys can actually see they do some cool claim games on their live feeds where they'll put up an item give you the price and whoever wants it can claim it and stuff like that it's really cool very cool nice people very fast fast delivery and all that good stuff so got this bad boy from them so thank you guys thank you kane's crypt if you guys are watching appreciate you guys so as always when we do these unboxings and reviews we're going to be starting with the box so right off the back you can see here on the cover very beautiful um beginning of the uh box right here all right, you got the nice little rhino there. Very cool in that green. Features removable dome and a dark horse comic book inside. And there is the rhino alien. So very cool. I love it so far with how it looks on the box. So let's go ahead and check the rest of this bad boy out. All right, we got the side view there of the box where we got aliens and then we got the rhino alien. Nice little artwork there. And of course, here we go, the tribute to the old school toys right there. Okay, stop there. And then we got, there you go, classic series. That was awesome. Nice little artwork right there. You see all the figures that they have. You have the alien section in the middle, and then you have the predator. So, so very cool box-wise. NECA always does really good with their products and uh, the aliens and predators. So it's pretty awesome. I am enjoying the box very much. And of course, we got the other side view, which is the alien. And here we go with the, right here, the awesome cover art. I'm going to stop right there. Awesome. Look at that beautiful picture art right there of the rhino. It's so beautiful, so cool. They definitely did an amazing job with this. This figure is about 10, maybe 12 inches tall. I'm going to try to tilt it so you guys can see right there. Just look at him or her sitting there in that box very cool so very awesome of uh, NECA to do this and to come out with this beautiful figure um, so yeah so now we're going to take her out the box and we're going to take a closer look at her all the details and all the beauty that this figure has to have like I said just right off the back looking at this thing right here Ooh, beautiful so all right let's get the celebration rolling let's take her out of the box and let's take a closer look at her all right, so I got her out of the box, and it does come with the Dark Horse comic book, which I'm going to show you guys here. So this is number 12, the Rhino Alien Ice Storm. So very cool that it comes with its own comic book. There's the back right there. And let's open it up so we can take a little closer look. So very cool, very nice retro comic art we got going on in there pretty cool i think it's so awesome that with this rhino alien up oh, there she is uh that they came with a little comic book and stuff like that so that's very cool it makes it um even more special that it's a uh uh for collectors and stuff like that for it to be in nice little comic book i'll just show you a few more pictures look at that that's amazing all right so yeah there's the comic book i'm gonna put this back in the bag right quick 
if I can put there you go put it back in the bag don't want to damage it <clears throat> should be a nice little fun read for later so all right without further ado here we go look at this bad mamma jamma right here we have the rhino alien this thing is huge so right there look at that absolutely beautiful the coloring I love the uh, translucent yellow and orange that she has going on right there or he I'm not sure yet but we'll just call her she very awesome look at all that detail and that coloring on this figure look at that absolutely amazing there we have the horn here let me got some regular articulation there with the arms okay the fingers can fold in and fold out oh this is so awesome look at that look at that body like that is amazing get a little up close let me put our arm down because I got the stand here oh wow absolutely beautiful with the horn on the head look at that mouth opens I think she has yep yeah, there we go we have the little xenomorph mouth there look at that look how scary and beautiful that is at the same time that is awesome very awesome Naka did a very good job with this figure let's put that back in there just look at that nice skeletal going on the tail and we got the translucency going down over to the legs absolutely amazing this thing is freaking ridiculously big just look at that i mean everything from like the color even the black the one thing i do like if you look right there with the orange and the black like it's a flame that whole coloring right there is amazing oh don't want to shake that too much there you go side of the head and then we do have the removable shell and then we can see right there all that yucky goodness underneath that dome you can even see it going like with the translucency a little bit of the black in there very cool that red Ooh, i gotta stop knocking this camera you guys gotta be able to see this thing but yeah overall like i think my favorite part has got to be that whole face look at that that is amazing closed man And she is really huge, actually, too, for being an alien figure. And she's not meant to stand, because obviously she is a rhino. But if you were to try to get her to stand, it you know, look somewhat like this. If you can get her to stay like that, but she looks kind of wonky. But, I mean, just having her stand up like that is, is pretty terrifying and scary. Just look at that. This thing is so amazing like i highly recommend you guys um if you're a fan of alien and stuff like that you gotta definitely get this uh rhino alien it's so awesome look at that i think that's a kind of like a spaceman or something in there i'm gonna have to read the uh comic book and figure out what this is right here kind of looks like a baby or some sort in there uh, we'll have to read it and we'll have to find out and then you got the nice little tail this is so cool guys i'm sorry i can't get over it like look at just the oh she's so amazing yeah definitely a big shout out to NECA for doing this and a big shout out to kane's crypt for uh having this bad mamma jamma so i can get it i mean this is just amazing very cool all right so what i'm gonna do since she kind of is hard to stand in a way well maybe i can get her to stand for you guys i got i do got a NECA stand um again from my friends over at kane's crypt that i just bought these she just came today so i guess we could let me see i'm gonna try to get her on the stand for you guys and um hopefully we can get her standing and then we're gonna go for the rhinoceros pose 
because after all, that is how she should be displayed. Oh, okay, so this doesn't even have, oh wait, no, it does. All right, I was gonna say, this doesn't even have a, uh, a pig in the foot, but it does, I lied. All right, so let me see if I can get her to stay. All right, let me turn this turnstile on so we can see her. Just look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very excited. Let me see. I'm going to bring this just a little bit closer for you guys. Look at that. That is so awesome. Every little detail, the coloring, the orange. I mean, this figure is fantastic. I can't say it enough. I know you guys are probably tired of me saying that and just shut up already. But, I mean, until you guys have this figure for your own and you take her out and, and display it and see her outside of the box, I mean, <clears throat> it's absolutely amazing. This has got to be one of my, well, actually, you know what? This is my top favorite uh, alien. You know, next to the original Xenomorph, of course, that's going to be number one. But my second one is definitely going to be this rhino alien. Just look at that. That's so cool. I can stare and look at this for hours. Beautiful. That tail, that nice little sharp tail at the end. And then you see the nice little sharp horn on the top of her head right there. I saw uh, earlier today, um, I think it was Twitter or it was Instagram, one of the things that was on. And they actually had a picture of the armored assassin predator and the rhino alien fighting. And it was actually with the actual figures, which is really cool because I would love to see that happen. To see who would win between this bad uh, rhino alien and that armored assassin predator both huge i mean this is i want to say this is about maybe 10 inches i think it's 10 inches it says um so i mean she's a big girl i'm gonna have to uh actually on my shelf that's up on top i have my predators and i have my uh razor claw alien but i'm gonna have to make room so i'm gonna have to move my michael myers items that i have and make room for her because this is just awesome so all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put her in that rhino position uh, let me see I gotta actually see if I can figure it out if it takes me too long I'm gonna have to probably do a cut to the video but let's see let's see if I can get it if I can get her to where she needs to be at first before I show you guys All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and try to fix her up for you guys, and then we're going to be right back, okay? Because I don't want to waste too much time trying to fight with this thing. So we'll be back, and we'll see her in her awesome rhino pose. All right, so I got her like this. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Um, there's some articulation that you kind of have to um, move her around a little bit, but you can see that when you do bend the legs for her to kind of get that um all four look that the legs do kind of go with it to make it a little bit easier for you guys to be able to display her uh let me see if i can move this down just a little bit there we go um but overall she looks really cool like that too um i think what i am going to do i'm going to try to see i'll probably do it for you guys for the final looks uh kind of get her in like a running or charging um stance but overall this is one way i guess you can i'm not sure if it's the proper way or not um i don't want to take too long trying to fiddle with it but um I'm definitely going to try to get her in a awesome pose so you can see everything and cherish all those details and that awesome paint job. Like I said, the whole orange luminescence is pretty amazing. That tail, pretty badass. I wouldn't want to be in front of this thing when she charges. So, um, yeah, pretty much this, this is the, alien, uh, the rhino alien. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Try to see if I can get her in that pose. If not, then I'll keep her in this pose because she does look pretty cool in that pose as well. So, but overall, very cool figure. So, but yeah, guys, um, I'm going to try to tweak her out. You know, in most of my videos, if you guys stay till the end, I kind of have it rotate around for final looks so you guys can see the figures as they're spinning and without me talking. Um, but I'm going to see what I can do for final looks for you guys so that way um, you guys can kind of see her in action in the... Uh, 
in the pose that I want to try to get her on, okay? But for the most part, thank you guys for watching. Once again, happy Alien Day. I appreciate you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, up next, I'll be doing Candyman, which I know I'm a little bit late on that, but... Um, you know, better late than never, you know, at, on, on this channel, we're going to review everything, um, whether it's new or old, but yeah, Candyman will probably be the next video that I do because I got him from Kane's Crypt as well. But other than that, that's a wrap. Happy Alien Day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So you never miss out on horror reviews, unboxings, and more. Press that subscribe button and tap that notifications bell so you stay updated on all the Nightmare Corners videos. You'd be ghoulish not to. <laughs>